Here we have K2CR207 and we're applying a current to it. We hold that current for one hour and we get some chromium metal out of it. Now people are obsessed with using equations to solve these problems. I'm going to show you that it has nothing to do with an equation. All you do is look at the units of what you're given and you can solve the problem really easily. So we have our K2CR207. There are 15 amps of current and we have the current being applied for one hour. So anytime you're doing electrolysis problems, the first thing you want to do is find the oxidation number on these atoms. So my compound is K2Cr2O7. K2 is always going to have an oxidation number of plus one. So I'm going to write the individual oxidation numbers on top. O will always have an oxidation number of minus two. But because I have two potassium ions and seven oxygen ions, the total charge that's contributed by them will be two times the plus one, which gives me plus two, and seven times the minus two, which is minus 14. Because I didn't have any charge written here for my compound, the total charge is zero. So I'm going to say the total charge contributed by the chromium is Y and the individual charge for one chromium atom is going to be X. So that means that plus 2 plus my Y plus my negative 14 has to equal 0. That's my total charge. If I rearrange that, Y gives me plus 12. The individual charge on one chromium atom then, because I have two of them, is x, which is just equal to y over 2. And that's going to give me plus 6. Now I know what equation I have to write down. And that's going to be Cr plus 6 plus 6 electrons. Because I'm turning it into a metal, I use up all this charge, so I add 6 electrons and it turns into chromium solid. And you'll see why that's important in a second. Now all I have left to do is take my 15 amps and my one hour, and I have to convert that into my mass. What's the unit for mass? Grams. So let's try and do that. We'll start by saying 15 amps is equal to 15 coulomb per second. Well, I know that I can convert my hours into seconds, for sure. So let's say one hour times 60 minutes per one hour times 60 seconds per one minute equals to 3,600 seconds. So as you see, I've canceled out the hours, I've canceled out the minutes, I'm left with the seconds. Well, how would I get rid of the seconds in this 15 coulomb per second equation? What if I just multiplied by the time? So now we'll say 15 coulomb per second times 3,600 seconds, and that gets rid of my seconds. Now I'm left with coulombs, and I have to keep going. I have to convert it to grams somehow. Well, Faraday's constant, if I divide by it, We'll get rid of my coulombs because the units for Faraday's constant is coulomb per mole electron so if I divide I can get rid of my coulombs. Now I'm left with moles of electron. But you see my equation tells me for six moles of electron I make one mole of chromium. So let's get rid of that unit. My moles of electron cancel out. Now I'm left with moles of chromium. How do I convert moles to mass? All I have to do is multiply by the molar mass of my chromium. My moles cancel out. All I'm left with is my grams. So I've solved for my mass of chromium. 
which is going to end up being, once you work it out, 4.85 grams.